No more lies. Meg roars as King asks HarperCollins publishers to cancel Omid's Endgame. It's a King's order. HarperCollins publishers cancel Omid's book to stop Meg's dirty plan. Hello Truth Seekers and welcome back to our channel where we reveal the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round because the royal drama has just taken another turn without anyone seeing. King Charles coming in with a move that can only be described as the final blow that supposedly cancelled the contract with Omid Scobie and HarperCollins Publishing. Yeah, you heard that right. Omid Scobie's final game is a dead end, and it looks like King Charles is not up to any lies and manipulation. Before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you for all your immense love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Perfect, so let's get started. So now for those of you who have been following the twisted story concocted by Meghan Markle and her puppet Prince Harry, you're probably well aware of the bombshell that Omid Scobie dropped in the book of his latest. But wait, it seems King Charles and his wrath have put an end to the charade, and it's time for Omid Scobie, the so-called unique biographer of Harry and Meghan. He's played the role of compensation master, looking like making weaves of tales and royal rifts family betrayals, and supposed secrets within the monarchy. However, King Charles finally put his foot down to show that enough was enough. The king will not tolerate lies and deception any longer. Scandalous revelations from Endgame serialized in People magazine have stirred up a storm implicating Prince Harry in the tragic events surrounding Queen Elizabeth's passing September 8, 2022. These claims about Harry not being informed about his grandmother's deteriorating health sent shockwaves. However, King Charles appears to be done with Omid Scobie's manipulation of the truth. Let's dissect the bombs that have been dropped so far. The book alleges that the Duke of Sussex was unaware of the royal family's preparations to say goodbye to the Queen in her final hours. The alleged rift between King or King Charles rather, and Harry, and then the Queen and Prince William became the focus, painting a picture of family discord. It even went as far as claiming that Harry had to beg the royal family not to reveal the news of the Queen's death before he could be with them. Now, the initiator, King Charles, according to the book, betrayed the Queen by not privately informing Harry of her death. The late monarch's alleged wish to let Harry know before the public appeared to be ignored, left Harry devastated as to the real reason behind Harry's departure from the royal family, as Scobie claimed, was related to his desire for personal freedom. The Crown sees him as a threat. The relationship between Harry and Prince William is said to have disintegrated into an all-out war with accusations of fighting. Scobie paints a grim picture, saying that absolutely nothing has changed between the brothers. There are claims that Harry has been brainwashed by an army of therapists, and King Charles is said to no longer recognize his own son. But now King Charles reportedly breaking his contract with Omid Scobie, we have to ask ourselves how much of this story is actually true, and how much is just another part of a grisly conspiracy? Meghan and Harry's disgust against the royal family. King Charles seems to have had enough of the lies and it's time for someone to stand up against manipulation and other manipulation from any other party. So what do you think about this news? Please share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. But until then, stay tuned for more shocking and scandalous stories on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest information from the royal world. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again with some more juicy royal news.